guys i can't remember the last time i was in a farm it's been years guys so i've been in the village for a couple of days and today i decided to come with my heart to the farm she is here to uproot gary uh, cassava so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how they make gary and stash so basically it will be from uprooting the cassava to peeling it to washing it to frying it every single process guys that is what i'm going to be showing you in this video guys come with me okay And by the way, we came, we came here with a bike. This is the bike that we are going to use to carry the cassava when we are done. So I want to start by showing you guys our cassava is planted. So this is a cassava stem, guys. You take the stem and then um, this is our farm of course so you take your stem and then you go to you you open the ground and then you put your cassava stem like this oops you cover it up you cover it up you do the same again Guys, it's obvious that uh, I'm not used to, to doing this, but this is how you do it basically. Okay, so you give them a few few inches apart, and that's it, guys. So basically, this takes about two weeks for it to germinate, and when it germinates, let me show you how it looks like. After the planting that we just did. It begins to germinate it takes about two weeks for it to germinate and then it grows from something like this to something like this it grows gradually gradually into something like this and then from like this from this it grows into something like this you need a period of one year from planting to harvesting and you clear your farm three to four times during that period guys this farm that we are currently looking at is about five to six months old which means it we need another six months for it to be ready for harvest so it grows from something like this to something like this when it's like this it means it's ready to be harvested this is already over a year old and this is the farm that we are going to be harvesting today guys so let's get into it <laughs>
you uproot the cassava the next thing is to peel it so we are going to peel all of it then put it into the sack and then put it in the bike and take it home where we will be doing the rest but the cassava work is very hard guys it's an hard work and it's mostly done by elderly people living in the villages guys this work we are seeing we are seeing us doing it now it's hard it takes us for a good one year before you can harvest it the first stage you will brush the farm after brushing it like one week two weeks three weeks we will set fire on it after burning it we will now plant cassava then we take it for another two months or one month to clear it for the first stage then after clearing it we will go back again so we die again for second stage then you wait until you invest for one good year so the work is not easy we are expecting the nation to grow to most farmer or things that is coming from the farm like gary because this work will take you a year before you can invest it as you can see the work is hard after rooting it you peel it then after peeling it you arrange it on the sack, then you put it on the motorcycle. If you have vehicle, you can still use vehicle. If you have a bicycle, you can use bicycle. Then when you get to home, you will grind it, you will wash it, grind it, and you will tie it. Then the next day, you will fly it. So it will now become Gary at the final stage. So this family work very hard for us living in a village. <laughs> Today is the day we are going to fry the cassava. So basically, it takes two days for you to prepare your gari. Yesterday, I forgot to film the stash. So basically, after you grind the gari, the cassava, you put the cassava into a bowl, put water in it. And then you use sack. There's a sack that you use to press hard the stash. I, you know, by the time we were done yesterday, it was really late. I didn't even wait for Martin to finish. It was really, really late. I left Martin around 10. Martin finished around 12. So I forgot to film that part. So I'm going right now to show you guys the press that uh, they used to dry the gari, the cassava. So let's see how the price looks like, guys. Here we go, guys. This is the price. So like we saw last night, after grinding the gari, they pack it into the sack and then they arrange it in this local press. And they use this They use that to tighten it, tighten it to press out all the water in the cassava. Because if the water does not come out, the gari will not be dry and it will be hard to fry. <laughs> I'm a 
about to lose the press. We are going to take the gari to go and fry. So losing it is just the same way you tie it, you do it in reverse order. So, the first step after you have dried your garlic is to fitter it, and that is exactly what I'm doing right now. So, after we fitter it, we are going to start frying, frying it. Then, after frying it, we are still going to fitter it again. Gary, and they tell you the amount. Please don't price it, just pay and go. Hey guys, this is, a, this is how we fry Gary. So, this here, I see is the oven. This one is the, is the wood that we used to turn it. Okay. Uh, usually, we call it an native uh, tribe of Ray. They will call this one oven, Gary. So, this is the way to fry it. As you can see, we started this work since yesterday and now we are still frying it. So the work of Gary is very hard and very difficult. The way we are frying it now, if you don't fry it where it go it gum and bone. And when it gone, you will see black black and color inside the Gary. So but our owner is not like that. We fry it very well. So this is the real original. We call it this one. Original Gary, Okubes Gary. It's not uh, any handmade. We do it very well. Neat. You can see the face. Very fine. So if you take this one to any place now, you will like it. So we put oil on this. There are some. We do not have uh, add oil to it. We call that our white Gary. We get this guy type of Gary. We like to swallow it back every time. Guys, so. My eyes is paining me, the smoke is not here. Anyways guys, I think I will end this vlog right here. Basically, after we finish frying this, we are going to heat it again, and it will be ready for consumption. So that is how you make your gari from the starting to the heading, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave a comment also please share this video with someone you think might find it interesting and guys like i always say if you subscribe to my youtube channel it helps me to grow on youtube and it helps me to make better content so please smash that subscribe button and turn on the post notification so that you will be the first to know whenever i post a new content okay i'll see you guys in my next one bye 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 bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>